Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 11 of 113 Minutes by James Patterson and Max DeLalo. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. One minute. As a former Miss Scurry County for three years in a row, I know a few things about putting on makeup. I've been dolling myself up, going on three decades, but this is the first time I've applied it on someone else. Quit twitching, I say, dabbing a glob of brown cream and smearing it all around. You made it through Paris, Iceland, Island. You can deal with a little foundation. That's right. I'm putting ladies makeup on my retired Marine big brother. The rest of the room chuckles. Hank, Nick, JD, and my sisters-in-law, Kim and Debbie. The mood is tense and I figured we could use a little laugh. Don't pretend you've never tried to look pretty before, Sergeant JD cracks. More laughter except from Stevie. Very funny, Corporal. I pick up an eyebrow pencil. How about giving me a big fake smile at least? My brother flashes a toothy grin, scrunching his face up tight. Hank, Nick, and JD are all doing the same while Debbie and Kim apply their makeup. I rub my dark brown pencil up and down. Stevie's laugh lines, his forehead wrinkles, his crow's feet accentuating every nook and cranny as naturally as possible. I add a few liver spots for a good measure. I'm not trying to make my brother look good. I'm trying to make him look 25 years older. We're gearing up for our hit on Golden Acres, but this time we won't be going in wearing President masks just the mugs we were born with completely unarmed to good lord debbie says with a laugh is this what i have to look forward to she's finishing hank's makeup her husband actually shaved the top of his head to make it look like he was a balding he was balding and topped it off with a pair of fake coke bottle glasses she holds her compact mirror out so hank can see for himself damn i look just like pa he says blinking in disbelief our father died of a heart attack a few years back at the age of 67. Hank's not even 40, but in this disguise, the resemblance is spooky. No wonder Ma always loved you at the least. I joke, more laughs all around. Then Stevie grabs my hand. Come on, Molly, focus. Clock's ticking. He's right. I finish darkening his skin and highlighting his wrinkles, making sure all the makeup looks natural and even. Next comes the wig. Over Stevie's military-style buzz cut, I see set an unruly tangle of thinning gray hair. The transformation is complete and unbelievable. Well, he asks, big improvement, I say, never looked this good in your entire life. Stevie checks his watch, then turns to the two women and three other old men standing around our kitchen. Debbie, Kim, every brush and pencil you use, burn them in the fire pit out back. Nick, you go to reinspect the truck. Hank, look over the map and driving routes. Molly, soon as you're finished, join me and JD to review the floor plan. Everyone has a task. Everyone springs into action, including me. I still have one last person's makeup to do. Mine. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!